Hey everybody, it's that ADHD witch again. Disclaimer, I have ADHD, which means I'm going to ramble on and may or may not talk about this box. Uh, two, I'm a reseller. I buy these boxes for resale, so I'm going to be looking at them from a reseller's perspective. Uh, three, I knew there was something else in here. Eh, I don't remember. Um, we're going to get into this. It is the November. Oh, three. If none of that appeals to you, I'm not the YouTuber for you. Move on is an option for you. Mute, another option. Block, another option. Or you can leave a nasty comment. It's up to you. I mean, you do you. I'll do me. Hopefully never the twain shall meet. Okay, here we go. This is for November. Normally a big, huge, full color magazine comes in these boxes. They had a flood or a fire or something happened at their warehouse, I think, and they lost every single one as a business owner. Good God, that is an expensive, horrible heartbreak. I feel so bad for them. They've had so many challenges. I think I signed up for this box. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how long ago. And it's taken, I think the first box sign took four months to get to me. It's not their fault. It's supply chain, all that stuff. I get it. I'm sticking with them. But it was a little rough to keep paying for the boxes and not getting them. Did I just hear something? Oh, no, I didn't. I heard something, but it's unimportant. Anyway, this box, the theme is Journey to Another World. The book is Autumn's Tithe by Hannah Parker. Um, first book in Severed Realms tri Trilogy. Sorry, I am reading this from the computer, so forgive me. Um, it's a beautiful book, and it had double end papers. It had illustration in the front. It has stenciling, but the stenciling is imperfect. So for me, it bothered me. It may not bother you. Feel free to yell at me if you're offended that it bothers me. I'm okay with that. Um, and a reversible dust jacket. So really pretty book but the stencils. Mm. So I'm thinking they were like, hey, there's no way we can reorder this book and get this dang book box out. Everyone's going to be pissed. Let's just send it. But I would have sent an email saying, hey guys, <laughs> it's imperfect. Okay. Cookie cutters. That's supposed to be a book, a sword and a crown. And I was like, is this actually a book? I don't think so. And then as I'm doing this voiceover, I don't know if that looks like a crown. I think it looks like a boat. But then I thought, my dogs don't care what their freaking dog biscuits look like. So just shut up. So I am. Next up is a pin. You know how I feel about pins. I'm totally happy for you if you like the pin. That's from a Chronicles from Narnia. Chronicles from Narnia? Chronicles of Narnia. Yes. What does it say? Let's go to the email. Climb into the wardrobe and enter the world of Narnia. I think it's Chronicles. It's been a long time. Okay. Candle. Oh, yeah. At first I was like, oh, God, a tiny candle. Then I read that it had notes of moss, pine, and rainwater. So I was like, okay, I'll smell it. Being all a-holy, right? And then I thought, ooh, tiny candle. And I love it. <laughs> love that it's glass. Love that it's not tin. I don't like the artwork, but before everyone yells at me, do I appreciate the artwork and the time it takes and the effort and the talent that these artists have? 100% yes. Totally. Do I want... So that that style and all the styles of artwork that actually come in the boxes are not my vibe. So I'm happy that other people love it. Um, I'm happy that other people buy it, more importantly. Uh, so if I ever like poo paw something, it's not because I don't think the artist is talented. Not at all. Okay, necklace, gold. It doesn't tell you if it's like gold plated, I'm sure it's not, or anything of quality, right? It just says necklace. Quote, fairies of all kinds dance under the moonlight that shines in through a dome glass ceiling. That's kind of cute. Um, love and hate fairies. Liked, thought I liked fairies. Then I read Sarah J. Moss's A Court of Something and Something, and I was like, oh my God, I hate fairies, because she does like, what is it? 898 pages of them uh, loving each other. And I thought, you know what? I'm far too old and jaded for this. And been there, done that. If it was like 500 pages of the fairy 
picking up the dog food and taking out the trash and loading the dishwasher correctly, then, whoo, dang, that would have been hot. But it wasn't. So it wasn't for me. So I had to skip like, I don't know, seven, 17 chapters. I don't know. Anyway, that's how I feel about the fairy situation. The Beanie, C ADHD, was a collaboration with Sarah J. Moss. Included, blah, 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 Beanie um, from different worlds. I have no idea what world that is, but I will tell you that Beanie is thick. So it will keep your head very, very warm. I live in like the tropics, so I don't have any use for it. But if you know what that's from <laughs> and you want to tell me, please do. If you don't care and you want me to fail, then don't tell me. It's up to you. I don't care. Uh, then there was some artwork for the next month and then a, an offer to buy that black canary. Let me see here. A uh, special offer from uh, da, 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 for their upcoming paperback release of Black Canary releasing on December 14th. Okay. So, what'd you get? Super warm beanie with a cute pom pom, a necklace, don't know what it's made of, a pin, a bookmark, a candle, some cookie cutters, and a nice book. I think this is like 45 ish bucks shipped. So, for me as a reseller, it works out. Um, for you as a book lover, I don't know. You tell me. I'm not a booktuber. Like, I've only read what, seven books? It's the what, 17th of January? I've only read seven fiction books. Um, when I say read, I mean consumed. Like audio ca- books count sometimes, right? So I'm not like a booktuber. Anyway, I hope you like this. I'll see you soon.